Hi, this is Julita from Preventive Fire and I'm interviewing Frank, the alarms manager, and today we have questions about alarms. First question, what causes fire alarms to go off? Well, there's a, there's a few reasons fire alarms can go off. Um, obviously a full alarm, you'll have all your bells and whistles going off as well, your horn strobes and your strobes. Um, you can have trouble signals, which will just cause a beep at the panel. Um, that can come from low batteries and, and other maintenance issues. You also have supervisory signals, which will also beep your panel as well. So you'll hear the panel beeping. Um, and those can be caused by tamper switches, duct detectors, um, certain other devices that don't set off full alarms. All right, second question. Why do fire alarms keep beeping? Well, fire alarms will beep at you to let you know that there's a problem. Um, if the thing is beeping and there's any yellow lights or, or any lights that aren't just solid green, that'll mean there's a trouble or, or some sort of maintenance issue on your panel. Um, you'll want to contact your fire alarm provider um, or either your local service technician and have them come diagnose that issue. Third question, when should you replace fire alarm equipment? Well, you can replace fire alarm equipment for a few different reasons. Um, obviously, if the equipment's malfunctioning, um, if the device is false alarming or if the device is stuck in trouble, um, you're obviously going to want to replace that device ASAP. Um, but also upgrading your fire alarm system. So, you know, there, there's old panels out there that are still 20 or 30 years old. Um, a lot of people will like to upgrade that just for the, the peace of mind, having a more reliable system, having a system that gives you less nuisance alarms. Um, but all this stuff is, is also, it's mandated by the AHJ, which is your authority having jurisdiction or the fire marshal. Um, so any deficiencies on your fire alarm system, they're going to have to be corrected immediately or else you can be subject to fine as well as liability with your insurance company and other issues like that. Fourth question, why are fire alarms important? Well, that, that's a pretty key question. Um, the obvious reason for fire alarms being important is that it saves lives. Um, when a fire goes off, you know, you're going to want some sort of detection or some sort of notification to let other tenants in the building know, as well as if the system's monitored, to let the fire department and your alarm company know as well. Um, another big reason fire alarms are important is, is for insurance purposes. Um, not only can you get insurance breaks for having complete fire alarm coverage, but also it protects your building. If, if there's no one in the occupied space or if a fire happens in the middle of the night, um, that fire can just keep burning and burning and burning until someone either drives by and sees it or you show up in the morning. With a fire alarm system, it'll offer early detection to that fire. It can save you hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars um, by notifying you early and, and, and not waiting till that damage is catastrophic. So fire alarms are, are a very important key aspect of building uh, of, of entire buildings, residential, homes, um, pretty much anywhere that, that you're going to have work or, or people living. Perfect. Those are all our questions, but if any individual has any additional questions about fire alarms, how can they get in contact with you? They can contact us. Uh, our number is 561. 863-9900 um, and you can contact us for any fire alarm needs, any security alarm needs, um, access control, we do cameras, uh, any questions you have, any service you may need, if you want to quote for an install, please uh, feel free to give us a call anytime. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Frank, the alarms manager, and thanks for watching our video. I'm Jalitza. Bye for now. Bye.